swing over there and check maybe Steve if it's working, but no problem if not. I can tell that this live feed is working on YouTube, so I'm going to jump right into it. Um, but I will not be able to see YouTube, so if anyone's commenting on YouTube, my apologies. If anyone's commenting on Facebook, I can see those. And uh, let's get started. I'm going to uh, go into the man technical stuff, technical stuff, huh? All right, here we go. Okay. Good. All right, everybody stand up. I'm going to try and get all the way through the workout I started to do the other day. That feed got lost entirely from YouTube, so it's erased. So um, I want to get one on there of this, but I also want to do a few days per week, if it makes sense to you, of the same movements, because we're going to talk about positional stuff like guard um, specific movements. Um, doing them one day is, is super, and it's a workout, and I get it. But um, you really can ingrain these movements by doing it this way, and that's why I'm doing it this way. So we're going to do it um, a, a few days. We're going to do a few days each. I'll mix them up too. But all right, let's get started. So start with your wrists and hands and feet and ankles. You can do your fingers too. You can open your toes up and close them up. All right, YouTube is working. That's fantastic. Thank you, Steve. Okay, same thing, other foot. Again, just moving my foot, moving my feet, opening, closing also. Make sure you get them both. It's a good chance to practice standing on one foot. Okay. Let's do knee circles. Okay. So moving my circles, moving my knees in a circle. And the other way. Okay. Feet, hips width. And let's do hip circles. I woke up this morning at like 5 a.m. saying ow out loud because I started having a spasm in my trap. So I woke up going, ow! I think that was a pretty good imitation of it, too. Uh, but thankfully, that didn't stick with me. But we're going to do our next in a moment here, too. The hips, we've done both ways. OK, let's do shake it out. Upper body a little bit. Here we come, neck, right? Look left, right, left. <clears throat> and right. Take your time, make it a stretch. Left, right. That's no, let's say yes. So up and down, up. Down. When you look up, don't go crazy extending your neck behind yourself. That's actually not good for your C spine. Okay, ear to shoulder. This is a morning workout too. For me and for you guys, some of you guys woke up, maybe slept in. So I'm not going to rush into that thing. We're going to get through it. all these movements. Good time. Okay. Now let's do uh, neck circles again. Don't, no need to look behind yourself. Looking, glancing up while you go through your circle is good. Try to leave your shoulders down in one place. Circle the other way. If you like me, you can listen to the soundtrack of a million tiny popcorns popping. Okay, um, let's do our arms too. So I do like this movement here. So I'm gonna just get into this here, Americana Kimura. Switch, right? This is not about going fast. Sometimes like the kids thought I wanted to go fast the first time I showed them, but now they know. And that's it. This is a stretch. So make it a slow stretch in the shoulder joints. Um, try to face forward while you do this. Try not to do a lot of turning, right? Let's try. Let's make it only shoulders moving here. Only shoulders. <clears throat> and then the same thing with straightened arms. This might be hard to see on Facebook, but I'm just going palm up, palm down on both sides. They can be the same. They can be opposite. There's no magic to this. <clears throat> All right, let's start with leg circles on the ground. So we're going to lay down, and we're going to get our, cir our, our circles going like this. We're going to get our feet going like this. Look at my silly left foot. Yeah, i got to move my hips to make that happen. OK, so do look at your circles and make sure they're around. Your hips turning side to side, your knees pointing left and then right while you draw the circles is OK and actually good, because this is also a hip warm up. Right, so circles one way. You can 
some support to head if you like, a little crossed arms. We will be doing a lot of abs stuff. You can put the head on the ground. Other way. So drawing circles the other way with your feet. But this video has helped me discover that my left foot is not in the advanced class on circling. So the remedial circler on that one side. Okay, let's get up. Stand up in base and do, mine's nice, a bit fancy, and do 20 jumping jacks, okay? So take your time, these can be uh, lifestyle. Five, six, seven, eight, or, well, I'll tell you when I get to 20. You go at your pace. Come on, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, okay? And then let's do feet circles again. I'm just trying to break up the the jumping jacks, I'd like to get up to 50 or something. So we're doing this, we're getting warmer, so we're able to move, not rushing ourselves, but we're able to move faster as we get more warmed up. It'll feel more fluid, it'll feel looser. Other way, circles. My left foot, okay. Ugh. Good. Okay, stand up in base, jumping jacks. I'll tell you when I get to 30, and we'll have done, one of us will have done 50. I got about five left. I'm just high-fiving these two guys behind me. High five. Okay. Cool. Good. Let's do this. We're going to do, answer Okay. I'm gonna cross my legs and put them on the floor. I'm gonna draw circles with my hands from beside me toward my face and then down. And this is me clearing the hands off my belly. And then I'm gonna pull the person forward with my clothes guard. Um, but to draw, to draw those circles, I'm gonna hip up. So I'm gonna hip up and then bring the person forward. Okay, this is a lower ab exercise, but it's also us breaking the posture of the person who was posting their hands on our belly. So let's do, uh, let's do these for a minute. I'll tell you when to stop. Uh, go at your pace. So I'm hipping up, circling, and I pull them down with my cross legs. Again, when, you, when you're circling, you're putting their hands on the floor. So put their hands on the floor by your hips. If their hands are behind their shoulders, you'll be able to pull them forward with your legs. Okay, so keep going here. I hip up and circle, put their hands on the floor. Put my sacrum down, bring my legs up. Keep going. If you're lucky, you'll get like this suction sound that my back is getting on the mat right now. That one. Okay, good. All right, let's do this. Jason Dumont, what's up, brother? Okay, we're gonna do airplane side to side drills. So this is, this is gonna be this right here. I put my hands out to the side and I'm gonna, you can do this with your feet on the ground, crossed. I would still cross your feet, get used to crossing your feet. So be guard step, right, close guard. Okay, and I'm gonna bring myself as far to the side as I can. I'm trying to almost put my hand over where my head was and then go to the other side. So I'm doing this drill here. You can do it with your feet on the ground, like I said, you can do it with your feet in the air, which is harder, and it's gonna be more about balancing on your sacrum. Feet on the ground, you're gonna find it much easier. So go ahead. In case you don't have a good angle on that, I'm gonna just give you this other angle here for me. Get your side to side. Maybe five more. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, good. We need to be able to move side to side. It's a good oblique exercise and upper abs. Uh, but also we need to be able to move side to side to, to get a person to fall into a space. Sometimes pulling them down onto us is cool. Sometimes getting ourselves out of the way and pulling them into a space is more of a thing that we're looking to do. Okay, so let's do this. Now we're gonna talk about uh, guard maintenance. I'm gonna pretend my feet are on your hips, okay? Feet are on the hips, which would be the floor in this case. And what I'm gonna do is this. I'm gonna pretend in this case that someone has, has underhooked one leg. They underhooked this leg and they're trying to pick it up. Okay, so when someone picks up one leg on one side, you wanna get your hips over to that side. It makes the leg much more heavy to lift. 
Um, but also I'm gonna unweave my leg. So we're gonna go like this. Pretending that someone has underhooked this leg, I'm gonna bring my hip to that side, weave my foot out, put it back on their hip, and come back in, straighten myself out. More distance. So I'm gonna hip out, draw a circle, and come back. Other side, hip out, draw a circle, put on the floor is their hips, and come back, okay? So keep your fit, feet about their hips width apart, and let's do these for, for a minute here. Okay. Hip out, circle, foot on the hip, and replace. Hip out, circle, replace, center. Hip out, circle, replace, center. <laughs> you can really. My left foot again. Ugh! It's probably a flexibility thing. Hit that circle, please. Okay. Great. So, hit this game. Circle, foot, and replace. Good. All right. Let's do this. Oh, okay. I skipped one. That's all. No problem. We got right to the advanced stuff. You can handle it. Okay. Now we're going to do this. <clears throat> I'm going to pretend that someone scooped under my leg and tried to throw it to the side. But this end, which is what they were trying to do before, but this time they succeeded. So what if they succeed? My feet were on their hips and they scooped one and they went to the side. I'm going to roll up to my elbow. And if you can picture, their arm underneath here throwing this, their elbow is going to appear to me and I'm going to see grip their elbow. So when I roll up onto my elbow, I'm going to see grip their elbow and move in frame so we're good here. So they throw my leg, I come up to my elbow, I see grip with a stiff arm, their elbow, hip away and replace my guard here. Okay? So you're going to do this. Throw one leg across, but roll up to your elbow, stiff arm, the elbow and back up. Let me give you another angle on that. So someone successfully throws this leg, I'm gonna roll up to my elbow, stiff arm, back my hips away. So I'm further from you now, my butt on the ground, than when we started. I'll give you one more angle on this. Someone's gonna throw my leg to the side, I'm gonna come up like this onto my elbow, and I really try to escape my hips, okay? So let's do, I'll just keep this angle, because why not? Let's keep going. Hey, Suzanne. All right, keep going. So go right, roll up to your elbow, Stiff arm and escape. Go to your left. Your leg crosses over your other leg. You roll up to your elbow. You stiff arm and hip escape. Go to the right. Yeah, don't forget to start with your leg over your leg. Leg over your leg. Roll up. Come to your elbow. Hip escape. Other side. Leg over leg. Roll up to your elbow. Stiff arm and escape. To your right. Leg over leg. Up to your elbow. Stiff arm and escape. Let's keep going. Leg over leg. Leg over leg. Leg over leg. Stiff arm and escape. Leg over leg. Stiff arm and escape. Okay, good. So these are hip escape guard maintenance things. And we got uh, one last one, and that's this here. We're going to have the person double over passing. They grabbed and hugged over my arms. They're going to try and like move their hips around me, come to side mount, okay? So as soon as someone is double over on my legs, I'm going to put my hand on their shoulder. I'm going to block one of their shoulders. Presumably, just for like the little guard moment, the uh, little jujitsu moment, presumably the head's on one side. I want to block the other shoulder. So if his head's on this side, I'm going to block that shoulder. And I'm going to go one, two, okay? Let your legs be loose. You're going to have to rock onto your hands so that you can back up. I'm basically balancing on one point, which is my hand, and scooting away. Okay. So let's do this. We're going to lay flat. And I'm going to rock up to one side, put my hand on their shoulder, put my hand on the ground. One, two, and return. Now come up to the other hand, block the other shoulder. One, two. Pretty much you have dead straight legs on this. Sit up, block the shoulder on your hand. One, two. Other side, one, two, other side, one, two, one, two, let's do four more, two more each side, one, two, 
Imagine the person's double over, their head is on your left. So you're gonna sit up to your right with your left hand, you block their shoulder. Two, one, two, and one, two. Okay, great. That's it for our hip escape motions for maintaining guard. Okay, now let's do a little Gramby. Gramby is the other movement, the other big of the big two in terms of movements that are gonna help you retain your guard. Uh, Gramby is the next. And then we're also gonna do a little guard defense and a little bit of guard attacks. So that's what we got left here. And what time we got and how's my battery? Let me see, hold on. Okay, good. I'm still at 65%. We're gonna make it just fine. Catch your breath. That's what I'm doing. So for Grambys, we're gonna do this. Same thing. I'm gonna start with my feet on his hips, which is the floor. I'm gonna go leg over leg. Okay, but this time instead of blocking and, and getting up, I'm gonna do this. Presuming I just got my leg thrown. Leg over leg to the side. I mean, my back is exposed, it's no good. They're gonna kind of move forward and come around behind me, so I wanna block them with my butt. I'm gonna do it this way. When I go leg over leg, I'm actually gonna come up to my shoulder, and then I'm gonna get my knee, left knee under myself, and then draw a big circle with my leg to put them back in guard, okay? So I'm gonna go leg over leg, but I'm gonna come up to my foot, toes, I'm on my toes here, I'm on my shoulder here, and then my knee, my leg is still straight, I'm gonna bend my knee, put it under myself. So I'm actually in a tripod that's hard to squish right now, and we want that postural integrity. And from here, draw a big circle and put them back in. Okay, so we're gonna do this on each side. Some of you guys have done Grammys, this will be no big deal. Leg over leg, come up and circle back. Okay. Let me give you a different angle, just cause leg over leg, come up. I'm on one knee, but I'm on these toes still. If I go to two knees, I've now basically given turtle. If I keep my toes on the ground, there's still a chance I circle back, right? Okay, go for it. Do a bunch of these, leg over leg. Come to your shoulder and knee and toes, circle. Leg over leg. Okay, leg over leg. Come to your knee, toes, and shoulder, draw a big circle. If you can roll across your shoulder blades a little on this, it's good. Rather than just the tip of your shoulder. Good. Keep doing them. I haven't done them on the other side, so I'm going to do the other side. Leg over leg. Come to my toes, knees, and shoulder. And I'm going to draw a big circle, putting the person back. Leg over leg. This honestly is an easier motion with another person, but there's no reason you can't practice this just like we are. Okay. Great. That's just a little. Not even a whole Grammy. That's a little half Grammy to put us back in guard. Um, let's do one more. We're gonna start, we're gonna say, the first is almost the same movement. Instead of going leg over leg, where my feet are crossed like this, my legs are gonna be, my knees are gonna be pinned together. This is a motion that sometimes people will do when they're passing. So you get a hold of a pant leg or two and push this down. Okay, when they do this, same thing, I'm gonna come to my shoulder. I'm gonna set up this Grammy position circle and put them back in the guard. Okay, so um, you can start seated up or you can start on your back, but one way or the other, this shoulder is gonna carry away. So, so boom. Okay, so knees get pinned. Come onto your shoulder, tuck your knee under yourself and you're on knees and toes. Draw that circle. Knees get pinned. Grammy. Knees get pinned. Grammy. All right, I'm doing the same side a bunch of times. That's fine for you to do as well. I'm now going to do the other side. Knees get pinned. Get to this position, knee and toes and shoulder. Okay, last one. All right, those are our Gramby movements. Let's look at this. I actually was just watching a match after doing this workout the other day, and I saw somebody using this movement in their match just over and over when someone was trying to under scoot under. So it's the crazy legs. We've done it here before. 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to cross leg over leg. Sometimes you can do this. Same thing when they throw the leg. This leg, bottom leg is going to go under and all the way over to here. And this one comes under and all the way over to here. Okay, so under. Let's just switch sides. You know, if I think about what's in contact when I do this, you know, really my shoulder outside of my shoulder blade kind of carries my weight while my hips come through. It's important that you clear your hips, not just your foot from underneath, so that you have the ability to put this foot on the other side. Okay, three more seconds, two, one. Good, all right, that's some crazy legs. Okay, let's do this. I'm gonna say I had closed guard, but somebody is gonna break it. It's around their way, they start pushing down. I know it's gonna go, they know it's gonna go. So I don't wait, don't wait for it to get broken. When you know this is the leg they're pushing on, I'm gonna let go, put it on the ground, sit up, put a frame on their shoulder across their face, see what this <clears throat> And I'm gonna scoop my butt back a little so that I have enough base that I'm not doing a sit up. So you don't wanna be doing this, this is a sit up. This is easy, so you wanna do what's easy. All right, so my legs are crossed, someone's pushing this down, that's fine, I'm gonna put it down, put my hand on their shoulder, come up to my hands is better, and back my hips up till I'm sitting comfortably, meaning, not doing a setup. That's it. Okay. So you're just putting your leg down, starting to get up in base, essentially. Putting your leg down, hand goes to the shoulder, this hand goes to the floor, and you fix your hips so you're not doing the setup. So I'm doing the same side ten times, not on the other side. Again, this is a this is all about whose choice was it for my guard to open? I want it to have been my choice. So someone starts pushing here and I know it's gonna go. I just put it down. Reach for their shoulder. I should be hooking over their shoulder, holding behind. Their shoulder, not the material. I don't want to be grabbing material. I want to be holding the shoulder. Let's do the other side. <clears throat> so I'm here. Someone's pushing down now this leg. So my cross hand comes up. I come up to my hand. And I escape my hips so I'm not doing it. So here. We're doing these for exercise, and maybe you know, maybe this is one of your intentions coming in, but one of the other things you're building is sufficiency. You want this to be an efficient motion, so you're using as few muscles as possible, which is why this may be less of a workout for me than some of you who are newer. I've done these many times. I know how not to use muscles I don't need to use, just the ones I need. Just send the troops you need, okay? Good. Um, we're going to do that. Uh, let's see. No. That's good for that movement. Thank you. All right. Yeah. We're going to do something pretty close to that movement, though. We're going to do this. I'm going to be in the guard. We're going to pretend the person sits up too far from me to do anything. Here I am doing my guard thing. And instead of being in the danger zone where I can be attacking them and going for stuff here, they sit all the way up. Now, when someone sits all the way up, it gets harder to reach them, and they're beginning to work their thing to actually, like, pop my guard open, step over, and be doing work. Okay. So when someone sits all the way up, there are things we can do. We can underhook their leg and go to, like, a K-guard. There's all sorts of stuff. You want to look it up on YouTube. Um, but I want you never to forget that you don't have to be on the bottom. So if they, if they give up one of their cardinal purposes uh, inside the guard, which is to – which is to uh, – maintain a little control and be defending themselves, but also to hold you in a bottom position because why let you get neutral again? And that's, this is the forgotten moment, uh, I think, for a lot of bottom players. Get up, get, if you can get up, get up. So if they sit up, I'm gonna sit up like I did before, but this time I'm gonna get all the way to neutral, okay? So that's the movement we're gonna do. Looks like the one we did before where I sit up like this, but this time I'm gonna get all the way up to neutral. Okay, so let's do a few of those. I block their shoulders, same way. It's going to be harder for them to close the distance or underhook my legs while I do this. If my forearm is under their chin and I'm able to not hold them away, but just create a frame, which is super jujitsu-y, right? 
Okay, I'm doing the same side a bunch of times. And then I'm going to switch sides after this one to my weird side. Not that weird, though. No. Okay, I'm on my back. They're in my guard. I sit up like we did before, but this time I plant my left foot. My right foot comes back, and I'm all the way to my knees. No one ever said you had to agree to be on the bottom any more than you have to agree to be in striking range and standing. I don't have to be under this guy if he gets off me. So they sat up, no pressure. Goodbye. I'm going to do two more on this side. We're good. I think I was off frame for some of that. But good. All right now. Pulling postures. Yeah, here we go. Okay, scooting. This is where we got to in the last one. Scooting is this. You know, sometimes we call this, you know, bear traps. That's when we go backwards. I can also move forward in this same position. The idea is just that I have two points of base, my hand and my foot, and I'm lifting myself up, which gives me motion options. Forward backwards. So let's do just four backwards scooting. <sighs> so you're gonna have maybe right foot, left hand. Let's start, right? Scoot forward a couple, scoot back a couple. I'm doing three. You could go, it depends how much room you have in your house. Two, three, backwards. One, two, three. Why is my hand up? Just because of the last drill we did, it's good to plan on framing, keeping the person away. Okay. This is a, as much a shoulder exercise as anything else. You'll feel it in your shoulder. Two, three. Let's switch sides. Okay, now I'm here. This is the frame. One, two, three. And if it's not a frame, it's a, hey man, stay away from me, right? Three, in a self-defense perspective. Three, one, two, three. A few, ten more seconds, right? So keep going. Five. Four, three, two, one. Ah. Okay, let's do the same thing side to side. All right, two, three. I'm moving sideways, that's all. One, two, three. Okay, moving left, three. I'm moving right. One, two, three. One, two. Did I switch hands and feet on the other side? Two, three. I'm going to here. So one, two, if I did before, I forgot, then I was remiss. One, two, moving sideways. Three. One, two, three. One, two. Let's do this for 15 more seconds. Three, two, get a different angle. One, two, three, five, four, three. Two, one. Okay. Good. That's some scooting. All right. Let's just do shrimps. Shrimps is something that we did not yet do. Oops. I'm going to have my feet planted. I'm going to come onto one side, one shoulder tip, and hip escape. You can pretend to reach for your toes if you like. And then replace. And then hip escape, replace. Just go place. This is a nice break for your shoulder, which just did a bunch of work. In fact, it might be kind of a massage as you roll over your shoulder. Tip. Instead of dragging your hip, you can try lifting your hip. Kind of high up, right? A little height with your hip, especially on the way back at first. But then in both directions, high hip, high hip. I hip. Okay, now I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go all the way from shrimping, a regular shrimp, all over my shoulder, leg comes through to turtle. Okay, you notice I started my feet this way and I ended my feet that way. You will turn 90 degrees when you do this. That's good. So one, you can do the same side a bunch of times if you want. Two, let's do 10 on each side. Three, my 10. Four, 
five. Seven, eight, nine, ten. I feel this in my like lateral quads, vastus lateralis, and my glutes. These are good movements. Okay. Um, and I did only one side, so we're going to do the other side. So shrimp, but then continue. Your head or face will carry weight for just a moment. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. You can uh, you can arch your head back if you don't want your face to touch the floor, like if you're on a shag carpet or any carpet. Two more, and 10. What a weird hobby we have. But yeah, those are good movements, man. You know, you keep up something like this during your break and you're gonna hit the mat and you're gonna be more fluid. I mean, these are movements that we use everywhere. <clears throat> okay, let's use a little bit of a different muscle group. We're still, this is a lot of abs <laughs> or core. Okay, so, so as so everything's getting used. Let's do some hip ups. Mike Rivera, what's going on? Hip ups are just gonna be, sorry, that's a bridge. Hip ups are gonna be this, bring your knees to your chest. My elbows are on the ground, that's gonna help me get height. All right, so that's one. Okay, so we're gonna go. One, let's do 15. Two, three. You really wanna be able to lift your hips off the mat in Jiu Jitsu. I think that's eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Get them as high as you can. Thirteen on your last ones. Fourteen. Last one here. Fifteen. Okay. Let's just do this now. Let's do a hip up, and I'm going to triangle my legs as though I'm catching somebody in a triangle. One different angle on that. Roll back. Hips up. I'm gonna make a triangle. Okay, I hope you can see that. Hip this up. Oh, you can. All right, the triangles, let's go. I'll tell you when, still as high as you can. Using my elbows, I'm gonna shuck my elbows a little bit to get more height. I'm extending at the waist. Triangle is just your foot in your knee pit. Last two. One. As you can, two. All right. I don't always sweat in class. Some of you guys may attest, but this is a, this is a good workout. Okay, and now we're gonna do guard attacks with the time that we have left, which is at 40% battery. I think we're gonna get off, get through another 10 minutes. So good job, thanks for sticking with it. So far we've done like, you know, 25 minutes or something because I did start late with some technical stuff. All right, triangle entries, we just did. Okay, for those of you that know jujitsu, I'm gonna skip some of the explaining so that we get through it. For those of you that know jujitsu, I'm gonna be doing Kimura, guillotine, and bump sweep. These three moves go together. I'll explain it one time, but not over explain it. When somebody puts their hands on the floor is a really good time to do this. I'm gonna sit up, put my arm across. So I'm really getting up, almost like we did when we framed. But this time I'm gonna set up a Kimura, reach behind their arm, hold their wrist, hold my wrist, right? Okay, if this doesn't work, it, or, or we decide to change tack, I'm gonna push off this foot to back myself up again so that I'm comfortably seated and I'm gonna wrap a guillotine, go for a guillotine. And then if the person pulls back, let's say I'm caught in your guillotine, and I pull back, I'm like, no, oh! and I start to sit back like this. From this guillotine, they start to sit back. I'm gonna let go of the guillotine, go back over their shoulder and bump them over, okay? So that's the whole movement. Let me get a little further away from the camera. Kimura, guillotine, bump sweep. KGB, if that helps. Just notice that, okay? So 
Kimura. Back up when you do this. You need that. You need that practice. Do not just wrap your arm because you'll never catch this guillotine while you fall over. Remember, you need your second hand, so you got to be seated. Guillotine, bump sweep when they start to go over. Okay. Okay. Kimura. Back your butt up. Guillotine. Hips forward. Bump sweep. Right. Do your do your attack side. You, I don't mind if you just do one side on this. You may want to switch sides. I'm going to leave it up to you, but you'll be choosing which way you attack. So, okay. Okay, Kimura. G, guillotine. Wrap with my butt back. Bump sweep. Hand goes back over. I hold their elbow. Hips forward. Kimura. Guillotine. Bump sweep. Lay down. Kimura. Guillotine. Bump sweep. Okay. When I sit up for this Kimura, I might be on my elbow, but when I go for the guillotine, I'm going to have to be on my hands. So get height and your butt back. Okay. We're going to do this for another 30 seconds. Kimura, I'm on my elbow. Put my hand down to back up for a guillotine. Bump sweep. So. Kimura. Guillotine. Bump sweep. Kimura. Guillotine. Bump sweep. If you have a high elbow guillotine, whatever your guillotine is, you know, get some good reps in. Kimura. Guillotine. Bump sweep. Get your last three. Kimura. Guillotine. Bump sweep. Kimura. Guillotine. Bump sweep. Is that three or two? I'm gonna do one more so I don't cheat anyone. Guillotine. Bump sweep. Elbow strike. Okay. Got it. All right. Let's do cross chokes from guard. Super simple. Super simple. Just a different muscle group. <laughs> May not be that. So I ordered these so I didn't overwork one muscle group in a row so we could just keep going through. <laughs> I'm gonna put my hand in. So this I will talk a little technically. Hand goes in deep, doesn't close. Don't be pulling. Hand goes in deep, open. Most I'm gonna hold with is my thumb. Second hand comes underneath. Touch fingertips, they are both open. The choke starts, that's the setup. The choke starts now, one, I get grips. Maybe I even punch it off the back of their neck. That's a good detail. Punch back and make a fist. Now look at your nails. People will tap now, but you can bring it to your chest. That's the full move, movement, movement. So one, two, choke didn't start yet. Hands aren't closed. Now push material, make fists. Now turn and look at your nails. That's one way that Kira Gracie taught in her seminar. It was memorable uh, to Lisa, I know. And then pull it to your chest, right? So one hand in, second hand in, fingertips open. Now push and grab. Don't just grab here. Push and grab. That's how you're going to get your hands still close together. Look at your nails. Pull it to your chest. Open light hand. Open light hand. Choke starts now. Punch and, punch and close. Look at your nails. Hands to your chest. Never do my elbows flare. Never. Open hand. Open hand. Choke starts now. Punch and close. Look at your nails. Hands to your chest. Open. Open. Punch and close. Look at your nails. Pull to your chest. Open, open, punch and close. Look at your nails, pull to your chest. We're gonna do five more of these. Open hand, open hand, punch and close. Look at your nails, pull to your chest. I'm really imagining that I'm doing it. Uh, we're gonna do three more. Punch and close, look at your nails, pull to your chest, that's one. Open hand, open hand, punch and close. Look at your nails, pull to your chest. It's two, open hand, open hand, punch and close. Look at your nails right here. That closes the space. Now bring it to your chest. Okay. There's some cross chokes. Little sweat spot right here. Nobody needs to know about that. Okay. Um, let's do the, you know, the the baby brother or big brother of that joke is going to be. I got my guard closed. Open hand, and now I can't get under because they're blocking this space underneath. Can't get in here. They're blocking it, or maybe they're blocking my bicep, and I can escape by getting my arm up and away. And I'm going to come over the top here. Okay, so open hand, but you're never going to finish this choke. Right? It's going to be much harder. Okay, so what you want to do is this. I got my open hand. I'm actually like pushing material. So there's a little loop over here. That's what my thumb's going to go at. But I want to do this. I want to side bend so I can see my fingernails. Right? You put this hand in. I can't see my fingernails now. I want to move until I can because now I have a clean entry here. Also, when I put this in, 
I don't want my pinky to go by their face. I want my palm to go by their face. So I have my hand totally turned over. It's like a car. I say it's like a car on two wheels. That's how I want to put the second one in. On its side, Whoop, thumb goes in. Now turn your wrists, okay? So open hand, side bend. Put your thumb in, totally hand totally facing away from you upside down. Thumb in, get your grips. This is the beginning, that was the setup. Here's the choke. Turn your wrists, center yourself back up and pull them down, okay? Open hand, side bend, thumb, car on two wheels, thumb goes in, now grips. Now center yourself, straighten your wrists and pull them down, okay? Open hand, pushing material, if anything, do not be pulling here. Push, side bend so you can see, car on two wheels, thumb goes in. Now I get my grips, center myself, and do my wrist at the same time, basically, and pull them down. Open hand, side bend, thumb goes in upside down. Choke is now grips while you center and pull them back down. Open hand, side bend, thumb in, get your grips, pull down. Two more. Side bend, we're basically using your obliques on kind of one side. Get your grips, center yourself up, and pull them back down. Here, should be able to see where I'm going. Boom. Okay, very nice. And uh, let's do arm bars, okay? Arm bar should be this. Same side holds the wrist. I don't do a C grip anymore. I had my thumb broken when somebody pulled their hand away. Thumb went, right? So when I start this move, I hold it to my chest. My body is my thumb now. So here's my four fingers, here's my thumb. So I hold it to my body, I'm gonna get I may, I may be in closed guard, so you may want to do this. Same side wrist. Opposite goes over his forearm and in front of his bicep to hold the tricep. And now you can put your feet on the ground. Bump this across, right? So this whole unit, bump it across, hold the shoulder, and now I'm going to do this. I'm going to put my foot on the ground to help me turn and then bring this over, and I have the arm bar here, okay? So same side wrist, opposite side tricep. My cross feet are on the ground. I'm gonna hip up and bump that across. Bump, put my foot, hand on the shoulder. I should be in, a, in an arm bar situation. I should block his hip so that I'm blocking his shoulder, but I'll, it'll be hard to turn here for us. So foot on the floor, turn sideways, clear the head, and we have the arm bar. It's clear angle, a little more. Same side wrist, opposite tricep. Bump it across, hold the shoulder. This foot on the floor represents your foot on their hip, closing your knee. Put your foot on the floor, Turn sideways, and now I clear the head to finish. You should be flat on your sacrum basically the whole time. I'll show you why. Same side wrist, opposite tricep, bump it across, hold the shoulder. If I turn on my side, if I turn on my side, I'll never bring this leg over their head. If I'm flat, no problem, because I'm putting pants on. Anybody's, anybody's that flexible, okay? Uh, assuming this angle's good. Let's just do uh, five more. Wrist, tricep, bump. Hold the shoulder, foot on the floor, turn sideways, clear the head for the arm bar. Wrist, tricep, bump it across, hold the shoulder, foot on the floor is their hip. This one comes up and you turn sideways, still flat on your back, so that you can bring the leg over and finish. That's two. Wrist, tricep, bump, shoulder, foot, turn sideways, clear the head for the arm bar. Three, wrist, tricep, bump, shoulder, foot, turn sideways, bring this over the head, boom. That's four, I think. Wrist, tricep, bump, hold the shoulder, foot on their hip. That is the floor. Turn sideways, clear the head. Arm bars right here. Okay. Arm bars. That's for page sour. Okay. Now, arm drag, back takes. I have two more. We're in our last two here. So thank you for sticking with. This is a good workout. You're probably up to about, about a half hour. Uh, and that's really good for your guard and for your fitness at home when you might not be getting a chance to do much else. Okay, so arm drag back takes, what does that mean? I'm actually gonna, it's actually gonna start the same. I can, where I can get his same side wrist here. I'm gonna put my feet on the ground. Same side wrist here and hold the tricep and I can bump this across. But this time I don't want to land, I don't want to go from this side of my body to this side of my body. I want it to go from my body to the floor. So I actually move my hips way out so that the elbow hits the floor right here. And then I'm gonna take this arm out and throw it over their back and come up to my elbow, okay? And that's gonna be the whole movement that we do. You can take the back from there, um, but it's too much to mind. It would be too silly to mind. Okay, wrist, elbow, 
And this time, I don't just bump it across, staying where I am. I bump the arm and I move the Greg. I don't, boom, they fall into that space. I take out my hand, which is behind them now. Put it on their back and I sit up to my elbow. How do I sit up to my elbow? I, you can use this leg and kick down and that'll help you sit up, okay? So let's do a bunch of them. Wrist, tricep, big bump, you move you. Now, sit up. Wrist, tricep, big bump, move your whole self. Now, take your hand out, hold their back. Wrist, tricep, big bump, where I'm fully on my side now. Now, I take my hand out behind them. I use my leg to kick up, okay? I'm gonna give a different angle just in case. Wrist, tricep, I bring it across, boom, into that space. Now I'm coming up to my elbow here. Okay, a little more different angle. Wrist, elbow, I bump it across into that space, and now I sit up and I start taking the back. Let's keep going. Wrist, elbow, bump onto your side, kick down, get up. Wrist, elbow, bump out to the side, come up to your elbow. Wrist, elbow, pull back to the side. Kick up to your elbow. Last three. Bump that out to the side. Pull up to your elbow. Bump that out to the side. Last one. Wrist, elbow. Make them fall in the pit. Sit up, take the back. Okay. Well, that's good. We definitely got beads of sweat. It's a good sign. I hope the same is true for you. Hope you got a good workout. Uh, if we keep doing these movements, like I said, you're going to get back to class. You'll never have stopped doing jujitsu. You will have had no break at all. So stay with these, uh, stay with these workouts. I'm going to be posting them um, a few times, a few times a week. Maybe, maybe, maybe even like four or five days a week. I'm going to post them. So um, just follow along. I'll post the schedule maybe on YouTube so people have it there. If uh, in case somebody's not from my school who's watching this, uh, which I would appreciate a lot. That'd be cool if I was helping somebody else. Let's see. Yeah, okay. Yeah, there's definitely people watching on YouTube, but um, I have no comments on there. Any comments or questions on here? No. Okay, great. Mike, wish you could have been here too, um, but you can definitely, you're with me, right? You can be doing this from home. So thanks so much for your attention, guys. Really appreciate it. And um, uh, keep training like this. Train with me if you want. And um, see you soon. All right, take care.